One of the most important things to develop on a stringed instrument is the bow hold. I talk about the bow as the soul of the, the instrument. Um, without the bow, we wouldn't make any sounds except for pizzicato and some, some left hand um, um, articulation. But really, the bow is the most important part of what we are trying to establish at this very beginning stage. I think that if you start correctly with the bow hold correct, then what you will find is that you're hearing a good sound and good motions right from the get-go. So it's a lot easier for you to develop a variety of different bow strokes, different articulations, be able to play in every part of the bow. And in particular, to play at the frog is very difficult and something you're trying to establish from the beginning. So to use this pinky house is very helpful because it's impossible to get to the frog if your hand is here. In fact, one of the exercises that I use a lot to get the kids to play at the frog is to have them hold their bow in an inappropriate place in the middle um, and have them practice getting clear to the frog so they're exaggerating that motion. So one of the most difficult things is just getting the hand to stay at the frog to, to make it well shaped so that they're not playing with a lot of tension in the fingers. When you have the pinky house, it allows the, the pinky or it encourages the pinky to stay curled instead of doing what you would find with a lot of the beginners or even in intermediate or advanced players for that matter, um, with the pinky really stiff. So it's impossible to have a stiff pinky. Um, it could still have some tension in it in the pinky house, but um, it, I think it's much, much better if you have something that's perched on top of the bow and rounded, as you can see I'm demonstrating. Um, we typically, I, I would have the kids have the pinky house from the beginning stage of learning how to hold the bow, and then um, as they develop, say for example in a heterogeneous class, maybe they would keep it for six months or so. So until they feel um, comfortable at the bow and they understand where it is their hand needs to be placed. Um, and then I would take it off. This is not something that you would want to do for your high school groups or an advanced player uh, because typically if I've left the pinky house on too long, you'll find that they'll, they'll migrate um, some of their other fingers away. So you can, you can see that it's very helpful at that beginning stage and feels very much as a uh, reinforcement for what we're trying to get the kids to do uh, without you having to manipulate their fingers all the time.